So if you like this video, you want to win friends and influence people. And I've been reading that book and I'm going to show you the, f the best principles. And uh, let's go. The first uh, principle is smile. A smile can go a long way in creating a positive first impression and making others feel at ease. When you smile, it sends a signal that you are friendly, approachable and interested in the other uh, person's perspective and interested in connecting with others. It can also help to break the ice uh, in situations where you might feel nervous or unsure, for example, in uh, meeting new people or in uh, presentations. The second step is to always remember someone's name, like always. Remember someone's name is a powerful way to show that you value them as an individual. It can also help to build trust and create a more personal connection. To remember names, try repeating the person's name out loud when you first meet them. Yes, and uh, you can also try using their name in the conversation or writing out, writing it down after meeting the person uh, to help solidify it in your memory. So, the third step is listen actively. Active listening is a skill that involves giving your full attention to other person and making an effort to understand their perspective. It's not just listening, but you are not listening. This means like avoiding distractions, uh, so, such as checking your phone or thinking about other things that are not related to that conversation. Also, when you listen carefully and actively, it helps you to build rapport, gain insight and show that you are interested in what the other person has to say and they are going to feel important and they will like you very much. The first step is to show appreciation. Expressing gratitude and compliment other people is a simple and powerful way to strengthen your relationships and make others feel valued and important. This can involve like uh, thanking someone for their help or support or for example compliment they choose if you like them. Like simply offer a kind word, just compliment them and they will compliment you back and they will like you. Now this step is very important. Is avoid criticism when you are criticizing others it can be damaging relationships and can make people defensive always instead of criticizing try to focus on finding someone positive to say first and then offer a constructive feedback in in a kind and supportive way this can involve highlighting someone's strengths first and then offering suggestions for improvement or asking for their input on how to address a problem. But always very friendly and kindly. So the sixth step is show empathy. By showing empathy, you can build trust and create a deeper connection with others. It's very important. And this can involve putting yourself in other person's shoes, listening without judgment and responding with compassion and understanding. Show empathy can help to build stronger relationships and resolve conflicts and foster a sense of mutual respect and understanding. The next step is focus on what matters to them. People are often more interested in talking about themselves, like always, than hearing about you because they don't care about you they, they just care about themselves by focusing on what matters to the other person you can also build reports and create a more engaging conversation this involves asking questions actively listening and showing a genuine interest in their thoughts be kind be honest and be genuine next step and this one is very important Always avoid arguments. Arguments and disagreements can be counterproductive and always and but always damage relationships. Instead of getting defensive or confrontational, try to find common 
ground and focus on what matters to them. This is the key. Focus on areas of agreement that both of you want and by doing so you can create a more collaborative and positive atmosphere between the two of us. The next one is always admit your mistakes. Everyone makes mistakes from a time to time. By admitting your mistakes and taking responsibility for them, you can demonstrate integrity and build trust with others. This can involve apologizing when you have done something wrong, offering to make amends and taking steps to learn from your mistakes and avoid making the same mistakes again.